Hi everyone, how's it going? Today in this video, we are going to talk about a very interesting topic and we will see a live demo. But before I start this video, I want to put a disclaimer that uh, this video is not a financial advice or I'm not promoting any uh, crypto tokens. So whatever token you will see in this video, they are solely for demonstration purpose only. With that, let's start. What is in our agenda today? So we have what is crypto software wallet? We'll talk about software wallet. Then we'll talk about DEX, decentralized exchange. And then I'll show you how to buy your tokens using software wallet called MetaMask and how to buy or swap your token with Uniswap. So let's understand what is a crypto software wallet. The most popular software uh, wallet, crypto software wallet is on your iOS or Android phone and it is called MetaMask. MetaMask is also available as a browser extension, but uh, you want to uh, carry on your crypto token with you. So MetaMask is a very good choice. MetaMask is a cryptocurrency wallet that support all Ethereum and ERC20 received uh, base tokens. Now let's talk about DEX, decentralized exchange. And we will see why a DEX is needed when there is a exchange like Coinbase and there is a software wallet where from where you can actually buy and sell your securities. So why DEX? Uniswap is a very famous desk. There are other DEX also, but we'll talk about Uniswap for demonstration purpose. And again, as you can see, it's a de decentralized finance protocol that is used to exchange cryptocurrency. Basically that enable you for uh, buy and sell so now let's go into the actual demo. All right. Okay. In this quick demo, I'm going to show you how to use MetaMask to buy or swap a token and why not to use MetaMask? Why to use your Uniswap? So this is my MetaMask wallet installed on my uh, iOS uh, iPhone. And here you can see this is my account and I have some USDC tokens available and this, this is my private address, right? So now what we'll do, we'll buy, we'll try to swap or buy, uh, buy some token in exchange to the USDC. So say source is USDC and I want to swap it for a less known token, say, for example, CBSN is a, it's a new token. Now I want to uh, swap or purchase that, right? So it says that CBSN is less vetted, less verified. You can verify it on Etherscan. It, it is asking you for a uh, confirmation. So you can go to Etherscan, check the contract address and make sure that you are buying the right token or the token which you want to buy, right? Uh, from MetaMask itself, you can go to Etherscan. It will cross launch within app. Then once you are uh, sure, click continue. After continue, it will ask you how many USDC you want to swap with CBSN. So for example, I said 10 uh, USDC and MetaMask will go ahead and look into different DEXs and get you the best code. So here you can see it is trying to all the uh, exchanges and it get me a best code that for 10 USDC, I can get 136.5 CBSN, but look at the estimated gas fees. Estimated gas fees is always in Ethe Ethereum and today 0 0.017 Ethereum equal to $58. Ethereum is really pricey now. So to buy or swap a $10 asset, you need to pay $58 as a commission or as a network fees. I don't think it makes sense at all, right? So what is what is my other option? The option we talked about is Uniswap. Uh, there, there is on my screen I'm showing you if you want to buy something directly from MetaMask, you can only use your credit card or Apple Pay. Uh, so now let's go to Uniswap and see what Uniswap is get me to buy that or swap that token. So for to when you go to Uniswap, you need to first connect your wallet to Uniswap. There are multiple ways you can connect your wallet. I'm using Wallet Connect. That means Wallet Connect is an application. It will give you a QR. You open your MetaMask, scan this QR code, and it will be your MetaMask will be paired with Uniswap automatically using this QR code. So that's what I'm doing. I have opened my uh, phone and now I'm con con connected. You can see uh, my wallet address is there and it says connected. I can disconnect it once I finish my uh, transaction. Uh, 
and there are some other tabs swap pool other things uh, a little bit on uniswap you can change the mode dark mode uh, day mode i like the dark mode so i'll keep it like that okay now let's do the same thing swap usdc with cbsn now metamask know what is in your wallet because you are already connected that's why it is showing me uh, usdc uh, balance and now i want to buy the same token and let's see if that makes any difference with compared to our software wallet which is metamask so i will search for that token it has a huge list of token it's not only erc you can buy anything from uniswap in uh, e metamask you can only do transaction with related to e erc token but here is everything so now uniswap version 3 is released but liquidity is not very high so it is asking you that in version 3 right now we are in version 3 liquidity is low so why don't you try uh, version 2 so let's go to version 2 market and here you can see uh, again let's try 50 dollar of usdc for 670 uh, cbsn and now it is asking you to approve so it's not like it's two layer security uh, once you connect then you have to approve that yes i want to approve a transaction from my software wallet once you click this allow the uniswap protocol to use your usdc it is actually going to prompt in your metamask wallet and asking for approval and uh, so uh, look at your phone open the wallet and here you can see it is asking me for a permission so i can approve it and you can see the network fees is less okay so network fees right now there are slow average fast depend uh, how much in, in need of you to swap the con uh, token you can select you can pay high price and get your convert uh, uh, conversion uh, get uh, get it pass fast right so these are the few details i'm showing you you can actually edit i don't i'm not in hurry so i'll choose the slow and now you can see my network fees has reduced okay but you need 0.0046 eth right it is asking me that give me a approval or a fees in eth only though i have usdc which i want to swap for another token i cannot unless i pay the fees in ethereum so what i'm doing right now i'm sending ethereum from coinbase to my metamask wallet as a send and receive feature so i have exchange account coinbase and i'm i have some ethereum there i'm sending from coinbase to metamask so that i have ethereum in my software wallet as you can see as soon as i send it to metamask uniswap also started seeing those ethereum here because my wallet is connected you need ethereum because you need to pay fees in ethereum though you don't want to do anything with ethereum okay now let's go and complete this transaction so uh, since this is a less known token what i want to make sure that i am purchasing a right token so what i will do i will go to the website of that token and capture the token address or verify the token address okay then i'll come back to uniswap uh, they, they keep a pair cbs uniswap pair uh, that for one uh, basically when they release company release they put it on uniswap as a pair okay so that they here they reflect as a token now let's search that again and add it now i'm ready for swap i have my uh, usdc already authorized so no need to authorize again now let's see uh, now again for 50 dollar i want to buy this but in v3 right now i'm in v3 there is no liquidity so let's go to uniswap v2 okay same thing allow uniswap protocol to use your usdc approval is great uh, you don't want uh, like once you connect and without any permission get the transaction through so it's always great for ask for permission right now i have ethereum in my metamask wallet and i'm going to approve look at the fees that's what i want you to see when i wanted to make this transaction using metamask the transaction fees was in 50 60 dollar but here it is as low as eight or ten dollar 
that is why you need DEXs, right? DEXs are aggregator, they have more liquidity and that's the reason they exist. Otherwise, your software wallet is sufficient for any kind of buy and sell and purchases. But right now, most use case for software wallet is to keep your token secure, keep your uh, tokens with you since you hold the seed phrase or, or, or the private keys. And if you want to swap anything, go to swap, connect your wallet and use DEXs so that you can save on gas fees or commissions. All right. So I have provided approval and here now I'm at a point when my MetaMask is approved and I can say, okay, go ahead and swap. Uniswap does see that I have ETH, I have committed for my commission so that it can deduct the commission from my wallet and I'm saying confirm swap. I want to buy uh, this thing, pay, paying a liquidator fees. And now I say confirm swap. Now it will go and start to, to reach out that liquidity pool via USDC, Ethereum, and CBSN. And once the network confirm my transaction, you will see that USDC is deducted in my wallet. Ethereum fees is deducted from my wallet and I'll receive CBSN in exchange, right? So it, since I have chosen slow, it take time. Um, it can take very well nine to uh, 25 minutes with uh, slow fees and depend on what time you are making transactions. Uh, Sometimes network is really busy, gas prices are high. So uh, one piece of advice, when you want to swap something and you are seeing that there is a very high gas fees, wait for some time the gas fees is dynamic and as you can see my transaction is complete my ethereum is detected uh, deducted now it's uh, earlier it was 0.36 uh, now it's very less and now you can see in swap i am started seeing tokens so i already have token in my wallet and you can see i'm just showing you that i don't have any usdc now because i bought everything using that usdc and then i i have the uh, token in my wallet you can also see your recent transactions from uniswap um, that what all you did using uniswap so i bought some um, uh, cbsn i did some usdc approval all those things you can see here and then finally you can disconnect you don't want to keep it connected so i disconnect now you can see connect to wallet is um, highlighted it, so uniswap cannot read my um, balance in my software wallet so this is about Uniswap. Uh, you have seen a uh, software wallet, how to use it. Um, give it a try um, because Coinbase, uh, Binance, they are exchanges available, but there are some tokens that they don't uh, onboard token very early in their life cycle because of some uh, vetted and validation they need to do, right? So if you want to purchase a um, something and keep it with yourself uh, like uh, in under your control a software wallet is a good thing uh, is a recommended uh, but if you are holding a lot of coin then look for my other video uh, where I'm talking about a hardware wallet a ledger wallet I'll show you how to use that as well but here you can see uh, why and how you would like to use Uniswap MetaMask and Pi tokens early in their uh, lifetime. So thank you for watching.